The local data I'm seeing implies that the director's efforts to develop cloak emitters proceeded beyond prototyping. Portable versions were installed in some of the X3 medtech shells. Several of these shells appear to have been left behind in the medical wing. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I believe it may be possible to fit Jack with a similar device, a portable cloak emitter. What is involved? I'll need you to retrieve the data from one of the medtech shells here. With that, I should be able to reconstruct the portable cloak emitter's design. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Holy moly, what even happened here? I just picked up randomly this. Jack, this is the primary examination room where prototype cares were administered to volunteers. Dr. Harlan, you'll be pleased to know that your old workplace remains unaffected by the outbreak. Dr. Harlan? That's... Good to hear, Juno. Thanks. This log indicates a multitude of visitors. Some were children. Yes. Many of the station's personnel had families. Most of their children were suitably behaved. Some were not. Still, I hope they reached safety. Mm. I would not count on it. Oh boy. I'm entering the medical lab. Doctor, perhaps you should step away for a moment. I'm sure there's still plenty of output data to parse before we're ready to initiate the experiment. She's here, isn't she? Juno? More than likely. Yes. Who? The research director. I can handle it, Juno. Are you certain? I'm not looking away. Probably like a wife or something, right? A further casualty of the biomass. This researcher seems to have been helping the other one. Dr. Adriana Lay. She was too young for this. Jesus, what a party. This device indeed appears to be a portable cloak emitter. Juno, I believe your conjecture was correct. Naturally. If you scan the shell's data port, I believe I can create a similar device for you. Stop it. <laughs> cloak emitter module identified. Unfortunately, the data contained in this shell is only partial. Jack, to complete the reconstruction, I'll need you to scan additional units. Understood. Can I scan through the glass? Oh, I have to enter. Ech. Stop blinking. received a message from Dr. McKenna with all of his access codes attached. Would you like me to play it? Sure. Affirmative. Beginning playback. Hey, Adriana. I, uh... Well, I, I know I can count on you to look out for everyone. So, I'm sending you my access codes. You should get you into my stuff and a few engineering areas. Spare rations, my playing cards, whatever else. If any of it helps even a little bit, please take it. Share it. I figure it might make things a little more comfortable for you all. I Trim, prepare for departure. 
Shit, I gotta go. Um, I, I have no idea how to end this. With a key code. Hey, good luck. No. Uh, goodbye. End of message. If any of Dr. McKenna's codes prove useful, I'll add them to your arm computer. Thank you. A keypad for the duct. Juno, could one of Dr. McKenna's codes work here? I believe so, yes. Try 2525. Access to the utility ducts granted. Ugh. Here we go again. Moving through the vents now. Tell me something, Doctor. How long does it take? What? For the infection to run its course. Once it becomes fully active, usually somewhere between three to five days. But most victims opt to expedite. Good luck. So, uh, how does the infection work? Once it becomes active, I mean... The biomass drains energy directly from your cells. Your body is in the throes of widespread cellular decay. Major organ failure follows 12 to 18 hours later. But at least by then you are not in as much pain, since the infection has likely started feeding on the electrical signals traveling through your nervous system. By day four, you. All right, <laughs> I get the picture. Wait. <laughs> Perhaps we should shift focus back to the mission. Jack, it's okay. I ask. I, I should know what I'm in for. Just maybe not all at once. How tight can it be here? Okay. Excellent. That shell contained more data regarding the portable emitters. We'll need a good bit more to reconstruct the design though. I think I saw one body on my way. Where do you have the port, mate? Scan complete. We still need more data. Interesting. Doctor, this shell has a log conversation regarding the director and your research. Go ahead, Juno. Beginning playback. All right, Unit 5, back to the lab. The director wants to run those simulations again. Very. For what purpose? I'm not sure. Dr. Harlan's ideas were intriguing, to say the least, but, uh, well, I suppose the director knows best. Go ahead and prep the simulations. I'll join you shortly. Acknowledge, Dr. McKenna. Huh. So the director eventually explored your theories after all? I... didn't expect she would continue it after I left. But without the biomasses based genetic material, it would have been as much of a dead end as containment. I just convince her. Ah, uh, there was a way here. Okay. John, you may find some medtech shells with useful data near the patient chambers. Is 
This is the other side then. I'm already done with this place. My reconstruction of the personal cloak emitter is nearly complete. Mm. One more scan should be sufficient. You are asking for a lot, Juna. What can we destroy? Huh? To install your new cloak emitter. Oh. Cloak emitter installation successful. This portable version is practically identical to the mounted prototypes you've been using thus far. We'll see. Excellent. A tool like this will make it much easier to get around. Just keep in mind that its effective range had to be reduced to achieve portability. If you move too far away from your target, the tool will deactivate. Oh. Noted. <gasps> Thanks for that. Oh, that's very convenient now. I can just freely travel. I hope it works for ticks as well. I'm back in the lobby, proceeding to biomass containment. There's another voice activated control panel here. Additional security for the biomass containment area. It requires the voice authorization of a high ranking official. Well, we've got Dr. Harlan, right? Let's get that door open. My authorization won't be enough. We'll need someone with higher clearance. The research director. After a lockdown, she'd be the only one able to enter containment. With a large enough sample of the director's vocal modulations, I should be able to synthesize her voice. A voice sample? Well, I don't know. Even if we could find one, I I'm not sure it's fair to... Pull up my personal archive, Juno. There's just one file there. You're sure, Dr. Harlan? Go on. Beginning playback. I'm not going to be able to change your mind, am I? I just... You know I wouldn't leave unless I had... It's okay. A kill would change everything. I'm wrong about that. I just wish... I know, Nora. Me too. I won't be long. Doctor, I'm sorry, but it's not enough. We'll need more data before I can accurately synthesize the director's voice. Echo One, you need to return to the medical lab. Find Nora. If our data port is still intact, it may be our best chance of finding more voice data. Of course. I'll head back to the med lab. I think we've not only been to one place, which is here. I hate the face, like it seems to just wake up any second. Confirmed. This data has what we need. A message from the research director. It's addressed to you, Dr. Harlan. Go ahead. Do not get your sample. Dr. Harlan. We need her authorization. Just play it. Beginning playback. Ever? You'll ever find this. But I wanted to get back before. Well, before things get any worse. If you do manage to find this, well, then you know what's happened. I suppose the good news is you've got the undetectable. 
Which, if I'm not mistaken, means yeah. you owe me dinner. <laughs> Robert, listen to me. I know you. I know you're going to try to put all these memories up somehow. Make yourself believe there was something you'd have done had you been here. But it's not true. You understand? Don't go trying to carry that. We all knew developing a cure was virtually impossible. No one here was waiting to be saved. <laughs> You're leaving. You're already doing everything you could do to try and stop this. I miss you, Everett. Be safe. I love you. Goodbye. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Harlan. I too am... sorry. It's clear you meant a great deal to one another. She was a good person. She deserved a better resting place than this. I believe I have enough data to synthesize the director's voice now. Understood. I'll return to the security panel in the lobby. I'm back at the security panel. Are we sure this will work? No. But we can try. With Dr. Harlan's permission, of course. Do it. This is Dr. Nora Brake. Authorized containment access. Do you know? Yes, Doctor. Never do that again. Drama Queen. I can sympathize, but come on. 